As October draws to a close, the atmosphere is charged with anticipation. The familiar crispness of autumn air is giving way to something far more intense and unpredictable. Mother Nature is orchestrating a remarkable and rare convergence of weather events, setting the stage for a dramatic transformation across both the Caribbean and the United States. Two powerful systems are on a collision course. On one side, a dangerous tropical storm is gathering strength and threatening Jamaica with the potential for devastating winds and relentless rain. At the same time, a series of Arctic blasts are poised to sweep down from the north, ready to plunge much of the U.S. into an early and intense winter, with temperatures dropping rapidly and snow arriving sooner than usual. This isn't your typical autumn, these extremes are rewriting the seasonal script and demand our full attention. The contrast between warm, stormy tropics and frigid, snowy air is striking. Jamaica now faces the threat of a slow-moving hurricane, which could bring not only damaging winds but also dangerous storm surges and flooding rains that linger for days. Meanwhile, the United States is bracing for up to four distinct waves of frigid Arctic air, each one colder than the last, sweeping across the country and setting the stage for a wintry onslaught. These Arctic fronts will bring the first major snows of the season to many regions, blanketing cities and towns in white and creating hazardous travel conditions. Temperatures are expected to drop sharply, catching many off guard and forcing communities to adapt quickly to the sudden chill. From coastal flooding in the Caribbean to blinding snow in the mountain passes of the U.S., the weather will be active, volatile, and highly unpredictable. In this chapter we'll break down the timeline for both the tropical threat and the Arctic fronts, providing you with the latest forecasts and expert insights. We'll show you what to expect, when to expect it, and how best to prepare, whether you're in the path of the hurricane in Jamaica or facing the deep freeze in the American Midwest and Northeast. No matter where you are, it's time to stay alert, stay informed, and be weather aware as this unprecedented shift unfolds. All eyes are on Tropical Storm Melissa, churning ominously in the warm waters of the Caribbean. Meteorologists and residents alike are watching its every move, as the storm's unpredictable path keeps the entire region on edge. The atmosphere is tense, with uncertainty hanging in the air as Melissa gathers strength and inches closer to Jamaica's southern shores. Forecasters warn that Melissa is threatening to become a major hurricane, with conditions ripe for rapid intensification. The storm's swirling clouds and turbulent seas are a stark reminder of nature's raw power, and the potential for devastation grows with every passing hour. What makes this storm especially dangerous is its slow pace, forecast to linger just south of Jamaica for up to four days. Unlike fast-moving storms that pass quickly, Melissa's sluggish movement means the island could be battered for an extended period, increasing the risk of severe impacts. Instead of a quick hit, Jamaica could endure days of relentless wind and rain, a worst-case scenario for the island. The constant pounding from the storm's outer bands will test the resilience of communities, infrastructure, and emergency services. A hurricane parked offshore can maintain or even gain strength, lashing the island with its most powerful bands. The ocean's heat acts as fuel, allowing Melissa to remain a formidable threat as it hovers nearby sending wave after wave of destructive energy toward the coast. The prolonged assault means life-threatening flash floods, mudslides, and severe coastal erosion. Rivers could overflow their banks, hillsides may give way, and low-lying areas could be submerged for days, putting lives and livelihoods at risk. Power outages and infrastructure damage are likely, with remote communities at risk of being cut off. Emergency responders may struggle to reach those in need and basic services could be disrupted for an extended period, compounding the crisis. The cumulative effect of days of hurricane force conditions could be catastrophic. Homes and businesses may be destroyed, roads rendered impassable, and recovery efforts hampered by ongoing severe weather. This is a rare and dangerous situation. Preparations must be made now. Authorities are urging everyone to secure their property, stock up on essential supplies, and have an evacuation plan ready. The window to act is closing fast. Heed all official warnings and get to safety before the storm arrives. Evacuate if instructed, and help neighbors who may need assistance. The decisions made in these crucial hours could mean the difference between life and death. The threat is not just intensity, but endurance. Jamaica must be ready for a long and difficult battle against the elements. The coming days will test the island's strength unity, and resolve like never before.
Why is a slow-moving hurricane so perilous for Jamaica? The answer lies not just in the storm's power, but in its persistence. When a hurricane like Melissa creeps along at a snail's pace, it gives the island no respite. Instead of a quick, violent pass, the storm lingers, unleashing its fury hour after hour, day after day. As long as Melissa stays over the warm, energy-rich waters of the Caribbean, it continues to draw strength, maintaining its intensity. The island is battered relentlessly by powerful winds and sheets of rain that seem never-ending. Each rain band brings another round of flooding, and the wind never truly dies down. The ground, already saturated from previous storms, quickly becomes unable to absorb more water. Rivers swell and overflow, and the risk of catastrophic flooding rises with every passing hour. In Jamaica's steep, mountainous terrain, this is especially dangerous. Deadly mudslides can sweep away homes and block vital roads, isolating communities. Prolonged winds don't just rattle windows, they can weaken the very structure of buildings, tear off roofs, and topple power lines. Widespread blackouts leave entire neighborhoods in darkness, cutting off communication and making emergency response even more difficult. For those trapped indoors, the psychological toll is immense. The constant howling of the wind, the pounding of rain on rooftops, and the uncertainty of when it will end can wear down even the most resilient spirits. Days can feel like weeks as families wait for the storm to pass. Along the coast, the impacts are even more severe. Storm surge pushes seawater far inland, flooding homes and businesses. Massive waves relentlessly pound the shoreline, eroding beaches and threatening to undermine the very land on which people live. Saltwater intrusion can contaminate freshwater supplies, making clean water scarce. Farmland may be ruined for years, as crops are drowned and soil is poisoned by salt, threatening food security and livelihoods long after the storm is passed. The combination of sustained wind, endless rain, and persistent surge makes a slow-moving hurricane one of the most feared disasters in the Caribbean. It's not just the immediate destruction, but the lingering effects that can last for months or even years. This is not just a storm, it's a siege. The entire island is held captive by the relentless force of nature, with every hour increasing the toll on people, infrastructure, and the environment. Jamaica must brace for a prolonged, multifaceted threat. Preparation is not just about surviving the initial impact, but enduring the long days and nights that follow, and recovering in the aftermath. In the face of such adversity, preparation and resilience are crucial. Communities must come together, support one another, and draw on their collective strength to weather the storm and rebuild in its wake. After Melissa leaves Jamaica, its journey continues, likely crossing eastern Cuba, then heading north over the Atlantic. While landfall in Cuba will weaken the storm, it could regain strength over warm waters and track parallel to the U.S. east coast. Most models show Melissa curving out to sea sparing the U.S. a direct hit, but uncertainty remains. A shift in the jet stream could pull the storm closer, raising risks for the Carolinas to New England. Even offshore, Melissa's massive swells will create dangerous surf and rip currents along the Atlantic coast. Beachgoers and mariners from Florida to Maine should stay alert. The storm's presence will be felt, even without landfall. Stay tuned for updates as the track evolves. While the tropics rage, the U.S. faces a dramatic pattern flip. Four Arctic blasts are set to sweep across the country. Mild autumn weather will be replaced by a prolonged stretch of colder-than-average temperatures, especially in the eastern two-thirds of the nation. Arctic air, driven south by a buckling jet stream, will bring sharp cold fronts and a rapid temperature drop. This isn't a one-and-done event. Cold air will reinforce itself, locking in winter-like conditions. The first blast arrives this weekend, with more to follow into early November. Expect widespread frosts, freezes, and the first significant snows, even at lower elevations. The growing season will end abruptly for many. Daily routines, from clothing to heating, will need to adjust quickly. The early arrival of winter is the headline for the U.S. weather story. This weekend marks the start of the pattern shift, with active weather coast to coast. The Pacific Northwest gets heavy rain and the first mountain snows, signaling winter's arrival. The south-central states face widespread showers and thunderstorms fueled by Gulf moisture. The Northeast and Great Lakes feel the first push of cold air, with dropping temperatures and lingering showers. By Sunday, rain spreads into the Deep South, while another cold front brings more precipitation to the Northwest. These systems set the stage for next week's dramatic events, 
including a developing coastal storm and more Arctic air. Weather in one region is already shaping what's to come nationwide. As the new week begins, the southern storm system moves off the southeast coast and rapidly intensifies into a classic nor'easter. From Monday through Wednesday, expect heavy rain, strong winds, and coastal flooding from the Carolinas to the Delmarva Peninsula. On Tuesday the storm strengthens near North Carolina, bringing wind-driven rain and dangerous high tides. By Wednesday, impacts shift to the mid-Atlantic and southern New England, New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut face flooding and power outages. Millions in this corridor will feel the effects, the storm weakens as it moves into New England, but cold, drenching rain and mountain snow linger. This nor'easter is fueled by the clash of southern moisture and arctic air, it's a high-impact event for the densely populated east coast. Halloween brings drier weather for many, but a chilly air mass lingers in the east, the nor'easter pulls away, but cold air remains, trick-or-treaters will need warm layers, showers persist in the midwest, great lakes and northeast, while the west sees a mix of warmth and continued storms, in the northwest, the pacific northwest stays wet, and the east coast sees above normal rainfall raising flood risks, central us remains relatively dry, snowfall ramps up in the western mountains great news for ski resorts and water supply, early november could bring snow showers to the northern plains great lakes and appalachians as more cold air arrives, lake effect snow will kick in for michigan and upstate new york, the wintry pattern is here to stay, many will see their first snowflakes soon. This season's weather extremes demand preparation and vigilance. In Jamaica, a slow-moving hurricane is life-threatening. Follow evacuation orders and prepare for days without power. Secure essentials, water, food, batteries, and first aid. Your safety comes first. In the US, the nor'easter brings flood risks. Never drive through flooded roads and secure outdoor items. Prepare for power outages with blankets, flashlights, and charge devices. As Arctic air arrives, check your heating, dress in layers, and look out for vulnerable neighbors and pets. These events show how interconnected our weather systems are. A storm in the Caribbean can impact the U.S. days later. Stay informed with trusted forecasts and act early. Preparation is key to staying safe, whether facing a hurricane, flood, or Arctic cold. Be smart, be ready, and stay safe.